When I tell people what my job is, they are always surprised. You're a what? I work at the New York Stock Exchange. You do what exactly? Uh, I'm a trader on the floor. You're a what? Yeah, I'm a trader on the floor. I'm actually the only female trader on the floor. The floor is very fast, especially during the open and the close. It's a lot of moving parts and it's a lot of just making your voice heard. When I first started, when I would represent myself in the crowd on the floor, often I would be a little mousy. I know that they hired me because I was qualified, so I have to not listen to the self-doubt. Just because you're part of their world doesn't mean you need to be a man. You just need to be yourself and you need to be strong, confident, and let them know that I'm here and I have a voice and you're going to listen to me. It's a bit of a men's club. It's always been that way. Why are there no women in this business? It's because men suck. <laughs> Look, we see it in every part of corporate America, and we're seeing it even more now with Me Too and whatnot, that the environment towards women still hasn't changed in so many respects, and it must change. To be a floor broker, you have to get your badge. I got hired and had a month to take the exam. They did not think I was going to pass, so when I did, it shocked everyone. The men on the floor were like, she's really intelligent. It was all men. Historically, it was all men, except during World War II. There was a period of time during World War II, it was all women. Unfortunately, that didn't carry over. Once World War II was done, the men came back in and the industry got even more male dominated. There's a famous woman named Muriel Siebert. The first woman, only woman in the beginning to ever buy a seat on the stock exchange. She wore a beautiful mink coat when she traded. Well, there was a certain amount of hostility. You know, when you change a tradition that's 175 years old, not everyone's going to love you. I think at the peak, there were probably 70, 80 women brokers. Women came in, they started also at the bottom like everybody did, and they rose up to be brokers and to be actually part of this institution culminating today and Stacey Cunningham becoming the first female president. There are very few women. There are very few women in finance. There are very few women in technology. And we are squarely at the cross-sections of finance and technology. So it's a male-dominated environment. And you know that, that hasn't changed quite as rapidly as some other industries have changed. I really do believe new changes are coming. Hopefully, with Stacey Cunningham being the new president and you know even my story, that will encourage other women to want to come down here as well. Did I know specifically I was going to end up in Wall Street? Like, if I were to talk to myself five years ago, absolutely not. This is amazing and it's surreal. And I know that it's a great platform because if I succeed, then any woman that comes after me or all the women before me, it just looks great for everyone. And that woman can do this role just as well as a man.